Hey guys, welcome back. So one of my machines, um, it doesn't have a NVMe slot. So I thought I'd get this from AliExpress. I think it costs £2.59. And it's basically an adapter that goes into your PCIe slot. Um, so make sure you have a space for that. And I got it from um, a company called JE, I think it's pronounced. And it only cost me £2.59. So I thought I'd give it a go. So what we'll do is we'll open it up and see what's inside. Right, so the packaging is kind of cute, it looks quite nice. We've got a screwdriver, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we've got the bracket, we've got some screws, and also the main board. So let's put that to the side and let's get it built. So first thing we should do is get the bracket on. So it goes like this, and this is a bit of a fiddle. But you just put a bit of um, force in and you've got the two slotted in like that. So this adapter, it supports 2230, 2242, 2250 and 2280. So Amazon just dropped this off. Um, this is an unknown brand for me. I just picked the cheapest um, storage that I could find purely because I'm not going to be using this. Um, it's only for this video. So um, I just picked out the cheapest, smallest um, storage that I can find. So hopefully this does work and we don't have any issues. I've, yeah, like I said, I've never heard of the brand. But yeah, it's quite amazing how these have gone quite cheap now. Um, a few years ago, these would have been quite expensive. But yeah, it's, it's amazing how tech evolves over the years and things become cheaper. So yeah, obviously this is not going to be the best because the heat sink and stuff is... <laughs> there, there isn't anything, it's just a sticker, and um, yeah, this is just a cheap brand, so I'm not hoping for anything too, too, you know, too good, but it is what it is. Hoping, yeah, there you go, push it in a little bit, put it over like that, and then get our screw and our screwdriver that was provided. So I'm quite amazed with the uh, price of this, I'll put a picture up of how much I got it for. So you really can't complain on the price and you get a free <laughs> screwdriver. What more can you ask for? So yeah, literally, this just goes in like so. Yeah, nothing too complicated. And there you have it. That's it. And then what we do is we'll install it into our machine. Right, so what I've done is I'm using this machine. Um, it's an AMD board, which is a is X5. 70A Pro MSI board, decent board. Um, so I had to remove a bracket and then literally it just slots in like so. A little bit fiddly. There you go. And then also they include this little screw. So I'm really impressed <laughs> with all the little stuff they they provided. So what I'm going to do is um, boot up the PC and we'll turn it on and see if it works. So we're in the desktop now and what we're going to do is um, format the hard drive so it becomes visible. So we just open this disk management um, application and this is where you'll format your newly installed hard drive. And as you can see we're just going through the options. C is my main drive and we're going to give this newly installed storage as D. So that's what we're going to do. Just make sure all the values are all correct. I didn't have to make any changes. It works as it is so just go for the options and after you've done that you'll see that your D storage is now created and it's ready to be used so what I do is um, I copy a file from the C drive to the D drive to make sure it's working normally you use your NVMe drive for your OS but this is just a quick video just to show you if it was working uh, I was quite surprised this AliExpress card uh, is working so yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one peace